All right, so here you can see we have our simple graphical server, which we can be able to fetch our ID, URL description, which you can see that with the display on the right. And we can also be able to include a field or not include a field by using the add include directive. So here you can see we have the add include directive. And based on the variables value, if it's true, then we're going to include the description field in the return. If it's false, then we're going to exclude it from the return values. So here you can see on the right, we have description, but if I set this to false, then in this case, you can see that we don't have that in the output. And similar to include, we can also be able to use the add and skip to be able to skip a field. So we're basically fetching the feed by the current user ID that we pass in from the um, HTTP headers here. And then what we do is we're going to say add skip. And if the skip email is true, then we're going to skip this email. So we're not going to include it inside of our output. So here you can see for the um, query variables, we said it's true. So if we were to run this, you can see that email does not include it in the output. If I were to say false, then in this case, we're going to have this email included. So we're not going to skip this field from the output. So here you can see we have the email included in the output. And we can also be able to deprecate a field. So inside of the schema.graphql, you can see that we basically mark a field as deprecated and we mark the reason. So if I were to navigate to the playground and try to try to run a query, you can see that we get a highlight. It says that this is deprecated, use other fields instead, which is the message that we left inside of our schema. And of course, if you're interested in more content like this, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video.